Welcome. Today we'll be reviewing the 2021 vintage of the Cole Sellers Pinot Noir from California. My name is David Hunter. I'm the Director of Content and Education with Teuton Selection. Many of you will be very familiar with Cole Sellers and their line of wines. We've had a lot of success with them over the years and the 2021 vintage was exceptional. So we'll be delving into a few of the details now. This wine was produced from 100% Pinot Noir it's made from vineyard sources in Lodi and Mendocino counties in Northern California. And for those who aren't aware, the Cole Cellars wines, vintage to vintage, change and vary in vintage sources. And we keep our options open to craft the best wine possible. So we have a network of farmers who we deal with on a regular basis and based on the vintage and the quality of those regions and vineyards and appellations, we'll tweak it to produce the best wine possible every single vintage. This wine, as well as all coal wines, are made with multi-generational, family-owned estates, and they're produced sustainably with environmentally friendly practices and very naturally made. Let's take a look at a map. And you'll see the vineyard sources here. So due east of San Francisco, is Lodi and Lodi is great because it has cool breezes from the Sacramento River Delta and this brings really ideal conditions for Pinot Noir. So the soils here are a deep loamy soil. Loam is a mixture of sand with a bit of clay so sand drains very well which is great for grapevines especially Pinot Noir and a bit of that clay helps retain some of the moisture for those hot summer months. And you have a bit of that peaty soil there too. The peat helps retain some of that uh, moisture as well. The other vineyard source is up north. You'll see up in Mendocino. And here the nights are cool, the days are warm. The soils are more of a gravelly soil with a bit of that loam. And it gives you a great terroir Blending the two together creates a great complexity for this wine. Let's look at a few pictures. First one is of our vineyards in Mendocino. Mendocino, you'll see here, you see some of the, uh, the mountains in the background and the hills. It's a bit more rocky hillsides. That's where the gravel comes in. A bit more of a rocky texture to it. Higher elevations. And then we'll take a look at Lodi. And Lodi is more sea level, flatter lands, but again, you have those breezes coming in that, uh, that cool everything off. Our next picture is of some of the Pinot Noir grapes that we use in the production of coal cellars. And let's speak a bit about the 2021 vintage specifically. So, the vintage started out in around mid-March, which is around where bud break took place, which is right on time. That's ideal time frame. Um, it was a long, cool growing season. Again, ideal. It was very dry during the summer, though, so a little drier than normal. But this resulted in a smaller crop, but a lot of intensity and complexity. So you have a lot of color, great quality, and good flavor intensity for these wines. Fortunately, 2021 didn't have any of the fire risks or fire effects of the 2020 vintage. So in 2020, a lot of times farmers had to pick early so that the impending fires didn't affect the grapes. Here, no fires in the region and they were able to pick when the grapes were perfect and ready to go. Let's talk about the vinification, about how the wine was made. 2021 was composed of three different vineyard plots. So each was fermented separately and they keep those individual so at the end they can blend them together in certain proportions to make the most interesting complex layered wine possible. The grapes were picked in September at night. They pick at night to retain the acidity and that keeps a very balanced wine. After they were picked, they were destemmed and fermented in temperature control fermentation tanks for seven to 10 days. In those tanks, 
during fermentation, they pumped over six times per day. So pump over means they take the juice out of the bottom and they pump it over the top of the tank. The grape skins float to the top. And you want to integrate those skins with the juice on the bottom as much as possible. So, and that extracts, again, color, flavor, intensity. So they did this six times a day, 30 minutes each time, which is a lot. So many producers will do it three or four times a day. Here we're doing it six times a day, which is expensive, but it also gives you the best quality wine at the end of the day. Each lot after it was produced and fermented was then carefully blended and then aged in French oak barrels. Here we'll have a picture of French oak barrels, some of them used for coal, uh, coal cellars. French oak is used because it's the most subtle and elegant and it's ideally suited for Pinot Noir. It's tighter grain and more subtle. It gives you subtle spices, a touch of vanilla, and just helps round out the wine without imparting a lot of harsh, intense flavors. Let's uh, go ahead and taste the wine. If you have the wine in front of you, you can taste it with me now. So you can see the color, very dark and deep and intense. 2021, like I said, there's a lot of intensity there. This is a bit more intense than the last vintage. 2020 was a bit brighter, a bit fruitier. Here you're gonna have a bit more density. It's a bit darker, um, a bit more almost like Napa or Sonoma Pinot Noir. So you're gonna have that complexity intensity that you're gonna have there. So on the nose, Definitely plums, cherries, a bit of strawberry there. Very expressive. Flavors are deeper and darker. So you have, again, the same flavors, black cherry, but it's, it's almost like a cherry liqueur. Um, like definitely almost a cassis in there. Great acidity, but also tannin. You have a bit of grip here. So there's a bit of dryness, but in a nice way. This is gonna pair very well with food. Great by itself. I like it with a little bit of a chill, actually. Even though it has that intensity, I like it with about maybe 65, 70 degrees. So 20, 30 minutes in the refrigerator, 10 to 15 minutes in the freezer. Helps round it out, balances out those fruits. Very food friendly again. I could still taste this about a minute, 30, 45 seconds, a minute after tasting it. So very complex, lots of layers, great finish. I could still taste it. This is gonna be excellent with salmon. I always love it with salmon, duck. I actually had this recently with a, a chicken marsala and it worked surprisingly well. Even though it had a bit of spice to it, it really paired well. Excellent with grilled pork chops, uh, grilled vegetables, a variety of cheeses. Um, ideally creamier cheeses, goat cheese would be great. Even a brie could, could hold up and stand well. Great with a mushroom risotto, any sort of risotto, shrimp risotto would be great here as well. So very versatile, but if you're familiar with the 2021 vintage, or the 2020 vintage, this one is gonna be a bit more dense, a bit more complexity to it, but in all the best ways. So let's talk about a few final points. Once again, very important to convey to customers, family owned estates and vineyards. So they own the vineyards and the estates. Everything here is hand produced. Everything here is sustainable, naturally farmed, 100% Pinot Noir. So no blends, no funny business. Everything here is straightforward with the eye on quality from three different single vineyard sources. So this is not bulk juice. We're not getting anything uh, secondhand. This is three single vineyards that we've selected to produce this wine. Again, as always with coal cellars, excellent quality of price ratio. Across the board, it's almost unbeatable every vintage. Great food pairings, even as an aperitif, having friends over, great for a party, Great for an event, catering, 
just a wide range. At this price point, it's pretty tough to beat. And again, Pinot Noir, as always, I worked retail for almost 15 years. It's the ideal gift. So it's going to work perfectly. People don't know what they want, what they're looking for, what the guest is serving. Pinot Noir always works. It's the perfect option and always a great choice. So again, I want to thank everybody for your time. I'll leave my contact deal details here. Feel free, as always, to reach out to me about any additional details for this wine or any additional wines from Teuton Selection. As always, I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. And for now, cheers.